still to get a sense of just what is being said, we speak to our correspondent in Seoul, Lim Yun Suk. Yun Suk, what's the latest? How is Kim Jong Un? Well, that is a question we've been trying to find out from South Korean government officials all morning because there is um, report there are the reports and the rumors going around that he could have had a heart surgery recently, and apparently that heart surgery didn't go very well, and so he is in grave danger. But this um, this coming out from several reports um, from the United States citing intelligence officials, but South Korean government officials here have denied those reports. Um, just now, we got a, a government official cited by the Yonhap News Agency saying that there was nothing unusual going on in North Korea and that those reports were false. But um, remember, right now, there are really no contacts between South and North Korea. And so some experts here are saying that it really is difficult for the South Korean government to know exactly what is going on. And also remember, you know, North Korea is one of the most, if not the most, reclusive, isolated state in the world. And so to know exactly what is going on. We will have to monitor this very closely. Uh, but, you know, all these reports and rumors really just started after um, we learned that the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, did not attend the ceremony on April 15th, which is one, of, which is the biggest celebration in North Korea, um, because it's the birthday of Kim Il-sung, the founder and the grandfather of Kim Jong-un. He, since he took power, Kim Jong-un had attended those celebrations, um, since 2011, uh, when he took after of uh, uh, power after the death of his father, Kim Jong-il. And so that's when all this speculation and, and reports started coming out because it was very unusual for him not to be there. Now, we are monitoring the situation. In fact, that question also came out at a meeting, um, at a briefing by the defense ministry this morning, although the defense minister said there was nothing to, no comments to make on this. Um, so right now, we're watching this very closely, but we also have to remember that there have been reports in the past about um, Kim Jong-un not being well about a coup d'etat in North Korea. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it, those reports had proven to be wrong and he had made his appearance. So we will have to monitor this. But right now, the local reports here and everyone's really on top of this because if Kim Jong-un, if there is something wrong with Kim Jong-un, then it could really mean um, that, you know, then we'll be looking into the security situation here and to look into what is actually going to happen in North Korea. But for now, I think we just have to monitor this more closely to know exactly whether uh, whether Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader, is unwell or whether he is fine and is running the country. Now, we must also remember that the last time he was seen in North Korea and reports of his uh, whereabouts was on April the, 5th, uh, April the 11th um, during a ruling Workers' Party meeting. He was there um, on April 11th, but on April 15th, he didn't attend that celebration for his grandfather and the founder of North Korea, Kim Il-sung, and that's fueling all the speculation that's something wrong is possible, uh, wrong, that there is something wrong with the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un. Oh, thanks very much for clearing the air there for us. Yun Sok, uh, making it quite clear what's happening, at least what we do know right now in North Korea about leader Kim Jong-un.